Okay, good morning. Today I have a 2023 with Sunday XE 216R. So these are latest decals for retreat for 2023. I'm a big fan of them. Definitely uh, different to anything else on the market. Uh, Whit Sunday this year is now uh, semi off road. I almost call it entry level full off road to be honest with you, given the suspension setup on here. Uh, you've got extended drawbar there with the uh, ability to fit a box if you want to as well. Uh, right down to the brackets too. I do like the way Retreat always have this little chassis. Now you'll see there they've actually got the bracket. You can actually just bolt it straight through. A lot of just tech screwed on, so that's a nice feature that they add. Uh, you get a DO35 coupling with Whit Sunday this year as well, and sway control. So the beauty, thing, the beauty about the uh, Whit Sunday is the fact that um, you still get the RXP wall construction and the fiberglass one-piece roof. So that goes all the way to the back. So that's a good thing. So moving along, big tunnel boot. Now the fully lined tunnel boot as well. Sure, I've watched my videos before. I always talk about that. It's a good thing. This one's come in just under 2.7. Uh, ATM's all the way to 3.5. And she is, of course, a February 23. So it's a brand new plate. We just launched this at a recent show here in Adelaide. And yeah, 215 on the ball, which is nice. So, uh, Obviously, independent suspension. I'll give you a little peek under there. So, yeah, very nice. And then you've got your AT tyres as well. And they are a 16 inch tyre. So, they're a 245 75 16. And that's a 12 inch hub under there as well. So, the chassis is sitting on a 4 on a 4, so it's essentially an 8 inch. You got the outside speakers, you got the dual floodlights, panning around the back. Excuse the traffic, a bit noisy, and reversing camera there as well. So just be aware on this model, this is actually an internal measurement on the 216. So it does have the massive cabinet at the end, which we're about to step in and see. Um, so that does take up. So she is around, that's around 23 foot in total. So it's a big van if you want to live in it or you want a very large touring van. It's fantastic for that. Alright, I'll get some lights on. So this one's got the two battery and two solar in here as well. And the club lounge, which is nice. And that's a big club lounge, it's not a small one, guys. You can drop that down to be another bed if you want as well got a big two-door fridge so 188 I just call it a 190 litre fridge in there as you can see she's a 101 this one's got no one's name on it as well can't be released till later this year but a very nice van needs to just go to a couple more shows as you see toilet there and washing machine really nice cabinetry standard feature in retreat 2023 there's your top load washer in there and then there's your massive shower as well so yeah it's um definitely plenty of room in there that is a huge shower actually i've only probably been in this van a couple of times guys so it's a first time for me in here as well in this specific model too so it's the first time great southern rvs had this model in stock so yeah, heap of storage, beautiful flush, flat finish drawers, and of course, a big deep pot drawer. Most people don't want ovens these days. And then they're all they're all soft closed as well, even in with Sunday now, so that's nice. Uh, filtered water, you can see there, standard. Massive overheads. You got the dual gas struts on all your cupboards. I'm not feeling too much of myself. I have a look at the bench top though, that is massive. So that's even with a strainer there. You've still got all this bench top as well. All the way curling around here. So yeah, obviously uh, east-west bed. This has got a bolster in it as well. And I'm pretty sure 
So yeah, that's with the bolster in. So that's that's not bad. It's actually still quite accessible around there. Um, and full length. I think it's a 6.3 or 6.4 bed as it sits. Might want to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure I'm about right. Obviously, too, when you lift the bed up, you got all under storage in there, too. And the cool thing about this model is you get the tunnel boot, mid-tunnel boot, mid-storage, whatever you want to call it. Nice big TV as well. So it's a 24-inch TV, which is nice. And Retreat's one of the only brands that they give you a doona, they give you pillows. There's your DA35 box and a little drawer there, which is handy right next to the bed too. Socks and jocks or shoes or whatever. That's actually nice. So yeah, ton of storage there. Let's pull that down, give it some support. Now, Matt, obviously, the end. This is what everyone likes. Look at that bank of cupboards and then look at the drawers down the bottom. So look, if you want to live in a van or you want something with a heck of a lot of storage, this thing's got it all. I'll open up one of these cupboards. Can you get a peek inside? Have a look at the depth of that. So yeah, you've got almost, it's, I'll be honest, it's about two foot of depth in there, guys. And obviously down the bottom, that seal, because that's your tunnel boot there. And then all these individual drawers. Holy dooly. So yeah, all soft clothes. So I'll pan around. Get out a little bit. Have a look at that. Beautifully coloured van too. Just light grey, so it's got high gloss on your overheads and your lowers. They're a matching same colour from what I can tell. No, yes they are. And then you've got like a matte finish on the bench top. Be aware too, just because this is the entry, you still get the Dometic window. So you've got the film there and then full block out so you won't hemorrhage a light. And then the midgy screens as well on there. So one of the really nice features of Retreat, obviously for the past couple of years, this one piece fiberglass roof, uh, completely smooth. I like to do this. All fiberglass. So yeah, insulation wise, fantastic. Heap of light, so your main reason, obviously a lot of people go, oh, why don't they have all the individual down lights like the other brands? Now, the main reason is guys, this this isn't a framed roof. So this is a solid piece of fiberglass. So the channels are cut in um, and then the wires are run through. So it's not as easy as just feeding some wires across. And I actually don't mind the larger, the larger dome lights that they fit. So TV goes there, you can see the little bracket point there. So you could swing it around to the to the couch over here or have it pointing towards the bed if you want to lay in bed one night and watch a movie or something. That's a cool feature too. So lots of windows as well, obviously. There's one right behind your head at the back of the bed there, but then you could be laying in bed and turn around of course and you've got the you've got the big window as well on the other side. Have a look at that. So yeah, very nice. Like I said, this is a new model um, for us to have in the yard. And, but it's pretty popular at the show. A couple got signed up. The stock is still available, like I said, so late this year. So this does come with the, uh, the Odyssey uh, panel and it does have the gray tank as well. And they use Fusion stereos, which I'm a big fan of. They're a good quality stereo. I think I did mention, but you do get your filtered water tap as well and recess cooker. So yeah, with Sunday 216 XE, we call this. As I said, semi off road. Um, beautiful van, definitely available. Uh, just pick up later this year. Have a good day, guys.